Hey fellow foodies, it's Faye from facefood.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade vanilla marshmallows. This stuff is way better in texture and taste than the store-bought stuff, and it's easier than you may think it is to make. So we're going to start off with a uh, mixing bowl uh, of our stand mixer. We have some cold water in there, and I'm just going to pour in the gelatin over the top. We're using the uh, powdered gelatin here. And we're just gonna let that stand for a little bit. And then in our saucepan, we have the remaining water. Um, we're gonna pour in the uh, sugar here. And uh, on top of that, we just wanna give it a shake to make sure the water coats it. And then on top of that, we're gonna pour in the uh, corn syrup. And along with our sugar, we had some salt in there as well. Okay, that looks good. So we're going to put this over medium-high heat for about three to four minutes. Um, we're going to go ahead and cover it uh, for three to four minutes. And then uh, from there, we'll uncover it and continue to cook it. Um, until it reaches 240 degrees, uh, use a candy or digital thermometer and uh, wait till it gets to 240. This takes about seven to eight minutes. Okay, so once it reaches temperature, you're gonna go ahead and get your mixer going on a very low speed, the lowest it can go. And then you'll start pouring in the mixture um, onto the sides of the bowl. Make sure you don't get the mixture um, into the whip attachment. So pour it slowly. It is hot, so be careful. Okay, and once the mixture is all poured in, you turn it up to high speed and let it go uh, for about 12 to 15 minutes. It will get white, it will get voluminous, um, and then it will start to resemble a marshmallow uh, texture. So you wanna really let that go, and while you let it go, um, you can go ahead and prepare your pan. I'm using just a regular square cake pan, and we have our cornstarch and powdered sugar mixture. Um, we're going to go ahead and sift that on top of the pan. And then I like to give it a little shake to make sure the bottom is coated, but also the sides uh, are well coated as well. And then with the excess, we can just go ahead and um, put it in a plate or put it back in that bowl, whatever you um, prefer. Really just try to coat it as well as possible. Also, we um, I lightly sprayed the, uh, the pan, so that's why the mixture is sticking to the pan. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and give that another minute and then we add in our vanilla extract. So during the last minute, you really want to add your extract um, at that point. And then you mix it uh, for another minute uh, after you add the extract. Okay, so that looks good and at this point I'm gonna stop the mixer and it is hot at this point your machine is being overworked so it will be hot so be careful um, but just take the whip attachment off and then you immediately want to go ahead and pour it into the prepared pan make sure the spatulas you're using to work with this um, are greased as well it will save you a huge headache. But you want to kind of work quickly here because it will begin to set. 
If uh, you need help with it sticking, um, just use some more of the cornstarch uh, sugar mixture. It will help you uh, in terms of it not sticking to your hands and stuff like that. So I just use an offset to really spread it um, as evenly as it can uh, into the pan. So. Okay, and then I just dust the top with the remaining um, sugar cornstarch mixture. I kind of lightly coat it. This is how it looks like the next day. You got to let it really rest up uh, uncovered overnight. And then I'm going to turn it over onto the cutting board and that's what it will look like. Beautiful. Now I'm going to cut mine uh, with a round cutter. Uh, the easiest way is to really just cut them. Uh, into squares with a knife coated with the uh, sugar starch mixture. I'm only doing it with the round cutters because uh, these are going to be used for a, a grad party that has a nursing theme. So I really want these to look like cotton balls. Um, so that's the only reason I'm doing it. It's very tedious to do it this way so you really don't have to. Uh, I definitely recommend going the knife route. Um, but yeah, just cut them off. Uh, as you please. And then the scraps I just kind of chop up and I can use these in some hot cocoa or uh, in other applications. But these are the uh, marshmallows, so beautiful. Um, it was easy to make, believe it or not, and these taste way, way better than the store-bought stuff. You will never go back to the store-bought stuff once you taste homemade marshmallows. I can guarantee that. So for the full recipe, go to facefood.com. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more great videos on the way. And uh, comment below if you had any comments or questions. Um, I really appreciate the support I'm getting. Uh, definitely, definitely love you guys for doing that. So until next time, guys, you have a wonderful day.